as an actor to work on 16 millimeter, what that means to you, because it's such a precious thing these days. A lot of films are shot digitally and shows are shot digitally. Did, did the 16 millimeter play a part in kind of like the appreciation of working on the film? Oh, very much so. First of all, it's rare right now in this time of day and age, especially in the TV world, to be able to have that luxury to shoot on 16 millimeters. It's, it's, you don't get that opportunity often. And what I feel is the difference is that you have a feeling when you shoot 16 and when you see it on screen, there's that really intimate emotion that, that doesn't necessarily transpire when you're doing digitally. And um, you can probably speak with Sean about this. He can explain it better as, a, as in his vision as a director, but I really feel that it added a lot, if not really made the movie what it is that you feel the journey, you feel what Jennifer Fogel is going through, you feel the relationship, you feel the characters more through 60 millimeters. It has mm. that, that um, intimate, really, uh, connection between an audience member and on camera when you're shooting or and on screen when you're shooting on 16 millimeters. In terms of the the film's uh, scope, we're taking place over many years. And obviously there's makeup that's added in to age the characters. I actually think, interestingly enough, the 16 millimeter helped with Sean's performance because it almost de-ages him a little bit with the grain so they can he can play the younger version of the character. In terms of makeup, I know films are shot non-linearly. So were you in and out of her different ages throughout production? And how do you find that? Oh, I absolutely... I love the fact that I can play such a variety in terms of age and, and look. You see her at the beginning, you know, in the 70s and uh, yeah. really young looking to the end of the movie when we've added the gray hair. And <laughs> we ended up doing prosthetic. It's very end. It's actually a full prosthetic piece with the weight gain. Um, oh, yeah. and, and we built a bodysuit for me to show that the age really had um, an effect on on, on Patty, but that she's at peace uh, within herself. She's the happiest she's ever been, even if she's 30 pounds overweight, <laughs> um, but she's definitely at peace of, of her life choices and has asked for forgiveness with her daughter. And I think that was really an, an important scene to show the transition physically um, to be able also to connect emotionally. And last thing I'll ask you is this, Vikings is a show you shot over many years. And in terms of what you learned on that show that you could even pull into a production like this, I know they're vastly different, but I was wondering if there's anything you tapped into in terms of the production from Vikings that you could play with here a little bit, even though it's very different from this, uh, from a different, different genre, essentially, completely. Well, I learned after seven years on Vikings and getting a chance to play Lagertha, such an iconic character, is you got to make each moment count. The stakes mm. have to be high um, in, in every um, aspect of your performance. And especially because, you know, coming in as an actor and adding to the story, it's really a father-daughter relationship, love story. And you, mm. when you come in, you, you have to um, fill out those pieces and, and to, to try to explain, okay, her relationship with her mother was pivotal in a lot of ways to, to to move the story forward. And that is why her, um, the complex side of things is who she is today and, and her really um, becoming a woman and her, seeing her whole life um, on a small lens on, on, on seeing it on the big screen. And making those choices count is what I'm trying to say. 